Look at the baby. It's been a summer of sharing baby video online. Not just this baby, I'm talking about the kind that are romping, splashing around within weeks of being born. We've met Bella, an Asian elephant born July 7th. She's already a bit too big for the children's pool provided by her Fort Worth, Texas Zoo. There was a milk guzzling white Bengal tiger born in June in Lima, Peru. And rare footage uploaded in May by a wildlife conservation project of twin baby gorillas playing in the Rwandan rainforest under the watchful eye of mom. Then there's the giant hit of the summer, Yuan Zai, the giant baby panda of Taipei. Her cry sounding a lot like that of a human baby. In this footage, she's being reintroduced to her mother after two weeks recovering from an injury. Mom cradled her cub the way a human mom would. Images like these made me wonder, how long do baby animals stay with their mothers? Depends on the animal. Elephants, whose pregnancies last longer than any other mammal, stay with their offspring an average of 16 years. Bella's mom carried her for around 22 months. When the little one finally came out, she wasn't so little. At birth, Bella weighed 330 pounds. Elephant calves can walk two days after they're born. The boys eventually get kicked out of the herd after puberty when they become too rowdy. The girls can stick around with mom for life. What about tigers? They can't hunt until they're 18 months old, so stay with their mothers for two to three years before venturing off to find their own territory. What about those baby gorillas? For the first year of their lives, gorillas are nearly always by their mother's side, adolescents lasting between three and six years. In the case of gorillas, it's the females who eventually wander off to prevent inbreeding. And will this baby giant panda ever leave her doting mother? Panda babies are helpless without their mamas for quite some time, unable to walk until five months old. They nurse until they reach one and a half, and then mama is ready to send her progeny off so she can have another baby. Pandas are loners. Once the kids are gone, they're gone. As compared to humans who, after raising the kids for sometimes 18 years, it's not uncommon for the offspring to come back for handouts or to stay in their old bedrooms. In fact, 36% of so-called adults between the ages of 18 and 31 live at home. Be ready, Princess Kate. That's the short answer.